it's on the plumbing now and I can't say that I'm excited about it. Uh, I really don't have a ton of experience. In the past, I've done a couple of small projects here and there, but I've never installed uh, a full plumbing system with the drains and everything and with um, running water, especially portable. So that's gonna be interesting. Still waiting on the fresh water tank to get here, but right now what we're gonna do is do our drains. So I went to Lowe's, I got a bunch of stuff, uh, really probably more than I needed. I'm probably gonna be returning most of this uh, back to Lowe's, but um, I wanted to get more than what I needed, uh, just so that way I want to run back and forth. So I'm gonna show you what we have so far. So up here we have our three compartment sink, and then we also have our hand washing sink right here. And so what we have to do is put a drain in, uh, going from the drain itself into the cabinet through there. I'll be cutting a hole and then uh, I've already put in some drains for the three compartment sinks. Um, uh, nothing um, permanent yet, but uh, I'm probably going to cut these down a little bit because as you see, uh, this is my uh, main drain right here, the main line that goes to the gray water tank beneath. I could cut that. I might cut it. Um, I might cut these. I, I'm not even sure yet. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm working with so far. So hopefully in the next video, I'll be uh, in a better spot. And you see we have an outlet back there as well. It's for the, uh, the water pump itself. So you see I have a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, I have probably more than what is actually needed. Uh, some stuff over, over here on the floor. So I know for a fact I have the right size, so we're off to a good start there. So let's dive in and see what happens. All right, I have my drains in place. The next thing I gotta do, I have to take this apart again, just so that way I can get my adhesive and the compound in these joints. Uh, the reason I didn't do that at first was just because I wanted all my measurements to be correct and make sure this all uh, really flowed well, and it, it does. I even tested it with water. Um, you know, as you probably think, uh, there were a couple of leaks just because I don't really have any compound in it right now, which is fine, but I went outside, went to the uh, gray water tank, and it was coming out nicely. Uh, so you see right here the hand washing sink, it'll go down, and you see it starts to angle, just so we can go all the way down. Uh, here's the three compartment sinks, and then we go all the way down into the gray water tank, which is just below this coupler right here. So I have that black flexible coupler going into these uh, kitchen drains. Uh, this is the trap. And then we have these little um, spouts coming off where the rinser will hook up, the ice bin, the espresso machine. And I thought for some reason the coffee machine had one, but as I was doing this, I figured, uh, I figured out that it does not need one but I'll have it there for future use. I'll just need to plug one up. Um, so next what I'll do is I'll take those apart, put the compound on the adhesive, whatever, just to make that all good, no leaks. And then I'm gonna run my uh, uh, drain hoses from the rinser right here. Also from the espresso machine, I'll go ahead and do that, put it through that hole. And then from the ice bin. So the ice bin right here, uh, it goes pretty low as you can see and it's about 14 inches from the cabinet floor. And what I'm gonna have to do is make an angle, uh, but the angle is not gonna be steep at all just because we have to go along this back wall, behind the fridge, through this cabinet right here, and then right here to this spout. And that's only about, I think, 11 or 12 inches from this cabinet floor. Um, so I'm, I'm just hoping that works out well for when the ice melts and drains into uh, this little spout right here. Um, so, uh, next video you'll see, or the next section of this video, will be um, running these uh, other hoses and then hopefully getting the running water uh, lines put in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're done with the drains. I've done many, many tests so far of just uh, running water through each sink, through each little hose, just to... Uh, see if we had any leaks. Uh, at first I had um, a leak down here in the trap, uh, but then I put some compound on it and it works great now. Um, haven't had a leak since. And uh, I've also added this hose right here. The clear hose is for the rinser. And then this other one is for the espresso machine. And again, I have a or another little spout here for future use. So I need to plug that up for now. So anyway, uh, I just want to show you 
the ice bin. Kind of start over here. Uh, so put in this one inch PVC. And the thing was, uh, to the top of this um, drain coming from the ice bin, uh, it was about uh, 14 inches from the cabinet floor. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the other video. And uh, two, what I've been noticing, this is a side note, what I've been noticing on these videos, I've been repeating myself a lot, and that's because I do um, probably like four or five videos in one video, and some of these are like on other days. So I don't know what I said in the previous one, so that's why I'm repeating myself. So I think I told you that this was 14 inches from the cabinet floor uh, the other day, and I probably did, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you again. Uh, and what I had to do was I ran this pipe down all the way uh, and I only had like two inches uh, to work with. So you can see it kind of angles a little bit down there and then it comes in here and then goes into that spout right there. So tested that many times and it's working great. Put some uh, adhesive and some primer on there so this thing's not going anywhere. So that's it, that's the drains. That system is complete. Now it's on to installing the running water. So here we go.